A velocity change which lies in the plane of the orbit can change its size or shape. It can also be used to rotate the line of apsides. To change the inclination of the orbital plane requires a delta v component perpendicular to the plane of the orbit. We call this an out-of-plane maneuver since we are applying the velocity change in the out-of-plane direction. Let's take a look at a simple plane change maneuver. We look at an example where a circular orbit needing to change its inclination by an angle. We want to only change its inclination and keep its initial and final orbital velocity the same. The plane change maneuver is to be done on the line of intersection of the two orbital planes. The initial velocity and final velocity vectors are identical in magnitude but separated by an angle. Together with the delta v, this form an isosceles vector triangle. The change in inclination between the initial and final orbit is denoted by delta i. Given the value of the velocity of the circular orbit v and delta i, the change in inclination, we can solve for the magnitude of delta v using the law of cosines. The formula for the delta v for a simple plane change maneuver is expressed as follows. A single plane change, also called a cranking maneuver, is very expensive in terms of the velocity change required. Try this on your own. If the change of inclination needed is 60 degrees, the amount of delta v needed is equivalent to the orbital velocity itself. And that is huge. Let's dig deeper into orbital maneuvering. Here's a problem for you to solve. Post your answer in the comments below.